Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about acoustic people. People really have two variables that we have to consider in acoustics. One, you know, they're, they're both a sound source of energy because you're hearing energy, uh, you know, transmitted from my mouth, but they're also a sound absorption technology. Source, you know, in acoustics we have to put numbers to everything. We have to quantify and qualify, as, as I'm always saying. So about a two and a half inch driver, computer speaker, that's the output we, we usually use for uh, uh, human beings. And, you know, around 80 cycles to start, maybe 90 for, for men and upwards, you know, so there's some frequency ranges to look at. We're also a sound absorber. Every being is about the equivalent acoustically in coefficients of 12 square feet of carpeting, half inch pad, half inch carpet. So it's about one inch total thickness. And we have to use that in our calculations. And we know that every surface area in the room contributes about 17% to the problem. And we got to get to that 50 plus coverage in order to have that audible difference. Here's what you have to be careful of. You have to reach in acoustics when you're doing larger format rooms. You have to re reach what we call critical mass, meaning you got to get so much coverage to have a very audible difference. So that you say, well, we spent 15,000 or we spent 20,000 and it sounds way better, but we still need more. So you want to make sure that you get to the point where you hear better because you don't want to spend $15,000 and not hear it better because you, you won't be satisfied. And we will tell you where those break points and trigger points are. And in some cases, it's best to save your money to get a more appropriate budget so you can reach that audibility level in treatment so we we calculate when we're doing uh, churches the floor about a 50 percent occupancy coverage so if you got a 200 seat venue you got 100 people on average so you got 100 times 12 square feet of carpet you got 1200 square feet of inch thick material on the floor okay so that's how we we kind of quantify and qualify everything so we have to stay focused on this 125 to 500 cycle region. That's the most critical region for music and voice. Happens to be the most critical region for reverb in these larger rooms too. And what better product to use for that than our foam technology. And you can see in the graphic here, look at the linearity from 125 to 500. Look at the spatial irregularity of the other two. Now, why would you use something like that? to treat a problem that's all about peaks and dips. You need predictability and consistency in your technologies. You don't want to treat a problem with a problem. It doesn't make any sense. That's why my phone took me eight years and $2 million to create. There's the difference. Use our technology. It's 100% fixed and it's 100% right. You're not playing games. You look at the performance curve of those two companies. Uh, what is it, Oralex and Sonic? Geez, it looks like no research went into the development of that. It's horrible. Look at the dips in response. So, acoustic people. We have output energy and we also can be sound absorption technology. We're not diffusers. And neither are plants. <laughs> acoustic people. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.